I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and this is my review and installation of the Rugged Ridge XHD front bumper base with black D-rings fitting all 2007 and up JKs. This is the version of this bumper base that includes the black D-rings but it's also available without the D-rings and you can also get this bumper base with a built-in winch mount. So there are a couple different options depending on what you're looking for in your front bumper. Today we're going to talk through the installation of this front bumper, which is a very simple one out of three wrench install. As with most aftermarket front bumpers, this is going to bolt directly in place of your factory bumper without the need to cut or drill anything, and you can get this bolted up in right around an hour. But we'll talk more about the installation in a minute. We're also going to talk through the construction and a few of the features of this bumper. The Rugged Ridge XHD front bumper line is a modular front bumper, and what we have in front of us here is essentially just the bumper base with these D-rings. As I said before, you can get it without the D-rings, which would really be the most basic version of this bumper base, and you can also get these bumpers in kits that will come with different ends, different hoops, and different D-rings, so you can get off to some sort of start with your bumper. The benefit to a modular bumper is the ability to add and modify the bumper as you go along in your build or as your build changes. Now, generally you are going to spend a little bit more for a modular bumper like this than you would for an off-the-shelf bumper. However, with a bumper like this, you are getting the ability to build a bumper exactly how you want it, and you're also getting the ability to change the bumper as you go. So for those additional features, you are going to have to pay just a little bit more money. This is a steel bumper base that's covered in a textured black powder coat finish, and that's the same finish that Rugged Ridge uses on a lot of their aftermarket parts, and any sort of accessories that you would purchase for your XHD bumper base will have the same finish, so everything is going to match really well. That powdered coat finish is also going to help the bumper resist any rust or corrosion down the line. As I said before, this is a very basic version of this bumper base. It does come with these D-ring mounts, which is one add-on piece, and it also comes with block-off plates on the outside. So you can run this bumper exactly how you see it, or you can pop these block-off plates off and add any sort of end, whether it be a stubby end or a more full-width end. In the center here, this bumper base does accept your factory fog lights, which is a really nice feature. I always like to see that because you already have those fog lights, you're wired for it, you already have the switch, you might as well be able to reuse your factory lights, and this bumper will allow for that. This is the non-winch version of this bumper base, however, the winch version is available as well if you plan on running a winch on your Jeep. And this is already pre-drilled and tapped on top in case you want to add any additional XHD accessories from Rugged Ridge, like a bumper hoop or even a stinger. Getting this bumper base installed on your Jeep is going to be a very simple one out of three wrench install that shouldn't take you more than an hour. The first step is going to be removing your fog light sockets from those fog light housings and unclipping the rest of your fog light wiring harness from the frame. You'll remove your lower splash shield and your upper frame cover, and finally the eight nuts that are holding your factory bumper in place, then just giving that bumper a pull to remove it from the Jeep. After that, there are four screws per fog light housing that you'll remove from that factory bumper, and then attach those fog light housings into your new bumper base. Finally, it's just a matter of lifting the bumper base over the frame horns, putting your D-ring mounts in place in front of that, and using the included hardware to go through the D-ring mounts, your new bumper, and the frame rails, giving you a nice solid connection for your new bumper. All you're gonna need to get this done is some traditional hand tools, sockets, wrenches, and a screwdriver in about an hour's time. As I mentioned before, the benefit to a modular bumper like this and starting with a bumper base that you can add to is the fact that you can change up your bumper as you go along without having to purchase a whole new one, and you can build a bumper that exactly matches your needs. Now, for those additional features, you are going to spend a little bit more money, and this bumper base does come in at $530. And for a very stubby, very simple bumper base that is a little bit pricier than you can get some other stubby bumpers for. But again, you are getting the ability to add a lot of accessories onto this bumper, so if you're going to take advantage of that ability and build a custom bumper to fit exactly your needs or you want something that will change with your build, this is going to be a good option. So if you haven't been able to find a front bumper that fits your exact needs or the look that you're after and you're interested in building a modular front bumper, this is a really nice base to start with. You are going to end up spending a little bit more money than just purchasing an off-the-shelf bumper, but if you're looking for that functionality, this is a great place to start. 
So that's my review of the Rugged Ridge XHD front bumper base with black D-rings, fitting all 2007 and up JKs that you can find right here at extremeterrain.com.